then I also have to memorize the order of sharps. All right, so here's another part I want you to write. Make a grand staff. Put two staffs together and put a treble clef in the top staff and a bass clef in the bottom staff. So the first thing you have to know in order to do the order of sharps, we'll do the order of sharps first, but the order of sharps and the order of flats is the order. That's what we have to know first. So the order is F, C, G, D, A, E, B. And a lot of times, you know, like in music, people use little sentences and things to memorize the order. And so you could say, what? You have one? Make something up. Well, I've got a couple of them, but I thought maybe you had, I thought maybe somebody already had one that they wanted me to say. Well, you can use fat cats go down alleys eating bugs. <laughs> Birds. That's silly. You could say, Father can get drunk at every bar. <laughs> what? You're not going to do that one? Okay. These are, these are some I know. Make up, I don't know, make up whatever you, one you want. F, C, G, D, A, E, B. So, that's the first thing I have to know. I have to know the order. F, C, G, D, A, E, B. And then I know, need to know where they go on the staff. So they go, it's not just any F, but the uh, F goes right here on the top line of the staff. So that F goes right on the top line of the staff in treble clef. And this F goes on the fourth line of the staff in bass clef. Yes, you draw. You actually draw a sharp sign, and you've got to make sure when you make that sharp sign that it's exactly there. You see how that line goes right through the middle of my sharp sign? This is in the book. Let me show you. Yeah, it's right here. You got it right there. Yeah, it's exactly that. Yeah. But you see what I mean? That line goes right through the middle of the sharp sign. So I know that that's on the, that top line. I know it's on the fourth line there. All right, so C goes down on the third space in treble clef, the second space in bass clef. F, C, we'll go to the top of the staff for G, the fourth space in bass clef for G. So you can see I start on the top line, go down, and then up. Same thing. This looks exactly the same, doesn't it? Same shape. And then I go down for D. Whoops. To the fourth line in treble clef. And to the third line in bass clef. I pro I'm probably just going to end up, when I do this, I normally just do the whole treble clef and then I do the bass clef. I don't do it like this, but I'm just doing this this way to show you. And then I go down to the second space for A and to the first space in bass clef for A, the fourth space for E, third space in bass clef, middle line B, second line B, and bass clef. So, so that's the order of sharps. 